Theodore Roosevelt said, comparison is the thief of joy. But that, that nugget of wisdom is so true. And I believe many of us, one time or another, uh, some more so or more often than others, have experienced envy and comparing ourselves to others. And what that does is, is for one, is disrespectful to ourselves, uh, to our creator. Uh, but the most damaging thing is, I believe, is that it gets you off track. And it distracts you from completing your mission. Because what happens is once you start comparing yourself, you're either looking ahead at people who you assume uh, are your competition, or you're looking side to side to see if you're winning or losing. But the truth of the matter is, man, this isn't a race amongst man or woman. This race is amongst yourself. You're trying to outrun the darkness in you, all right, before your time expires. That's what the race is. I'm not competing against any man or any woman. I'm competing with myself from yesterday and pursuing my mission. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to me. Man, when I was in high school, uh, playing ball, playing basketball, I did not play freshman ball. I played ball as a freshman, but I was not on the freshman team. I went straight to JV uh, as a freshman. And so I was on the team with sophomores and juniors uh, as a freshman. And uh, the first uh, two games, one or two games, I did not start, but I eventually started uh, on that team. And there was a lot of jealousy, man, a lot of hate. Uh, because, you know, I was I was young, but most of the hate came from the fact that my brother, who is uh, six to eight years older than me, had gone to the same school. Of course, not not while I was going there, uh, but he had uh, left quite the reputation in the in the basketball realms. Uh, he was a, a basketball star. He had left a, a good reputation as a basketball player. And so, although I was good, uh, and I was giving these sophomores and these juniors the business, I was always being compared to my brother. And uh, a little rumors, a little gossiping around was uh, that I only uh, was on JV as a freshman because of my brother. You know, they, I guess they were considered it nepotism, but I knew I was good. Uh, I knew I was better than most of the guys on JV and I was definitely held in my own. Uh, but another caveat was this, uh, was the fact that my brother and I had different styles of basketball, different styles of game. And uh, my brother was a, a passer first, more of a floor general. Uh, but my brother was shorter than me too. You know, my brother's five nine. I think at the time maybe one sixty five. I'm six two. At that time, man, maybe maybe one eighty five, maybe. Uh, so I'm able to do things he can't do. So I'm more of a scorer. And so, but there was a lot of comparison. And I'll be honest, man, I didn't handle it well. You know, at the time, my, my brother had moved on to uh, Kansas City, Missouri, uh, moved with my, my grandma uh, and that, or, or my mom's side of the family up there. And so I didn't really have an ally or have anyone on my side, really, uh, that could mentor me, you know, other than the coach, my, my the varsity coach who was grooming me to be on varsity my sophomore year, uh, who actually put me on JV, uh, the head coach. He told me before he did it, he said, now, Book, there's going to be a lot of uh, people jealous of you. It's going to be a lot of envy. Uh, but uh, just know you deserve this. And I'm 
and grooming you for something better. And, uh, you know, he was true. For one, I did deserve it. Uh, the freshmen uh, were not on my level. And like I said, I was giving a lot of the sophomores and juniors the business. And there was a lot of hate. There was a lot of envy. Brothers, I remember one time these cats, man, uh, froze me out. One passed me the ball in the game, and I'm the point guard. I mean, that, that was crazy, man. We almost came to blows after the game. Uh, but that was crazy. But we got that all sorted out. But this all started because there was a comparison taking place. And I bought into it also because I started questioning myself. And what they did, it stole my joy. I did not have a good time, a good experience that first year. Now, the next year and the year after, yeah, I had a good time. Uh, I enjoyed it. But that first year, I did not enjoy myself. I, I was questioning if I wanted to play because my joy was stolen. But the worst thing is when we steal our own joy. We start comparing ourselves and get distracted and lose focus and forget that, man, our life is special. Our life is wonderful, and we have everything we need to complete our mission. You know, what you have and the tools you have in your bag and your arsenal may not be what I have. You know, it may not be uh, in my bag, in my, my tool bag, in my kit to be 6'8". It may not be in my bag to have uh, this, this uh, wonderful sense of humor or this gift of gab. All of us have different tools, qualities, gifts, talents, but whatever you have, whatever I have, is all I need to complete my mission because we don't have the same mission, right? Now the outcome should be the same. The outcome sh should be to, to bring joy and for people to learn from my life. But the mission is not the same. Our, our plight is not the same. And so we don't have the same tools in our kit. Everyone's different. And as soon as you start looking side to side or looking ahead or looking behind, that's when your joy is stolen. Don't compare yourself, man. Don't let anyone compare you to anyone else. I've seen it, man. I've seen uh, wives and girlfriends compare their guy to other guys. You know, uh, I had I had a, a good friend of mine. Uh, his girl asked me, why can't X, Y, Z be more like you? Man, I, I, I just walked away. And this was, I was young. I was like, uh, man, I'm maybe like 26, 27. And listen, man, this chick, bro, you don't even know me like that to even make that statement. You're looking at something on the surface of what you think you know or what you think, uh, what you've heard. You, you, you know my good side, my good qualities. You don't know my darkness. So be careful for what you ask for because you really don't know me like that to say, why can't your guy be more like me? If you knew all of me, you may not, you know, think so highly of me, highly of me. If you knew all of me, you know, there's no reason for her to know all of me because I'm not in a relationship with her like that. But, you know, people do that. People will compare people and you don't, they don't know the full person. Right. We compare ourselves to other people. We, we wish we had the lives of other people and we don't know their track. We don't know their journey, what it took to get that, to get what they got, what it took to get to that point. If we knew the entire story, if we knew the entire person, I know we would have a different perspective. So you got to be confident. And you got to be content and joyful about the life you were given and about the tools you were given because you have your own mission. I got my own mission. And like I said, we have everything we need. You don't have to look to the side of you or ahead of you or behind you and wish or envy that you had uh, the qualities or the gifts or the tools of someone else. 
that's not your mission. You know, find out your mission and use what you have. You know, I've seen people who were uh, quadriplegic uh, pursue their mission and accomplish a lot. I've seen people who are deaf or mute. They use the tools they were given and they accomplished a lot. There are no excuses, no excuses. Uh, no one has a head start. No one has uh, more powerful tools than another. It's all about how you use your tools and the energy you use them with. That's what it's all about. If you're smart, if you're, you're born with a bright mind, with a beautiful mind that can just grasp things easily and repeat them, that's, that's a wonderful thing. But if you're not righteous and you're not using that to uplift, to enlighten, to bring joy, it's a waste. So don't let anyone steal your joy. Most importantly, don't you steal your joy by comparing yourself to others. And for the parents out there, I've seen it a lot. I've heard, of, heard it a lot. It makes me cringe when I see it, when I hear and see parents comparing their children to other children or comparing uh, siblings against one another. Man, that's, that's ugly, that's terrible. But I had to understand that maybe that parent uh, experienced something too as a child. Doesn't make it right. I'm not saying it's okay, but I understand. And so, uh, yeah, man, be satisfied, be content in who you are and shut that voice up, man. When you start comparing, shut it up. You got everything you need. As usual, from me to you, love. Peace.